In your life, you hope to find that one car that combines luxury, performance, and style. And just when you thought that wasn't possible in a mid-sized station wagon, look no further. The 1976 American Motors Hornet Sportabout DL Wagon. With just 36,000 miles, original fawn beige paint, distinctive wood grain side panels, true knit vinyl upholstery, and packed with optional equipment, this Hornet Sportabout features just about everything the American people want in need. And yes, I may be the bishop of the Diocese of Spokane here in Eastern Washington, but I'm very much a fan of this kinder, gentler American classic. I'm also very blessed to represent Catholic schools across the country for the next three years as the current chair of the United States Catholic Conference of Bishops Committee on Catholic Education. That's a long title that means I'm honored to lead all the bishops in supporting our Catholic schools so that they are thriving and raising young men and women of faith, serving God and others. It also means I need to get out and to see the schools and learn from the amazing people who lead them. And what better way to get out and visit my flock? Let's drive. Yeah, so what year is this car? 1976. If I remember right, you must have been in seventh grade. 76, half of 76 I was in seventh grade, and then I moved into eighth grade, St. Mary's School. Well, we're heading out to St. Mary's, your alma mater, Pat, and um, I'm gonna be with you and you're gonna celebrate mass. So how is it to return to the old stomping ground, St. Mary's in the Valley? You know, it really is moving. I, uh, I first uh, celebrated a mass as a priest at St. Mary's the day after I was ordained a priest. And my mom had taken this poem I wrote when I was in about third grade. She put it to music and the school kids sang that song at my mass of Thanksgiving. And I didn't know what they were singing. They just started singing something. And then afterwards they presented me with the original copy of this this poem, which to be standing on that side of the altar and yeah. leading the, the community in prayer, it, it was uh, quite moving to know that that was where uh, a lot of my uh, roots came from in terms of Catholic formation and liturgical life in that church that was just built when I was a kid at St. Mary's. And, and to, to go back there again and be the priest presiding was a pretty powerful experience. And, that's impressive. Do you still have a copy of that, the poem? You know, I bet I do. Put in your archives. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, if we're going to get to St. Mary's and do Mass, you better start pedaling a little quicker. I just floored it. Okay. Oh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always have to keep it at the speed limit, but one of the features of the AMC Hornet is its quiet luxury. <laughs> it looks kind of like a mini family truckster. Yeah, but it's the wood paneling on the side. Right. Yeah. Right. And uh, one of the great things is its horn. That is cool. Yeah. What is with people? They don't know how to use a horn in Spokane. I like laying on the horn and always taking a turn at 20 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll make it there in time. You notice we're taking the scenic route. Yeah, well, they probably won't start without us. No, no. It's like surgery. You can't start without the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the road is filled with great learning and amazing people dedicated to seeing our Catholic schools grow and flourish. I'll be back hitting the road in the AMC Hornet Sportabout DL.